dramatically change the way you do breakfast. Well, for many, losing weight is an ongoing and an uphill battle. So we've recruited the help of nutritionist Andrea Holwinger to break down the top reasons why you may not be shedding those pounds. Thanks for joining us today. This is a very highly debated topic. Yes, lots of people <laughs> will be talking about, uh, be interested in this topic today because it's so easy for some people to just, you know, shed 10 pounds in a weekend and for others it's just such a struggle. Sure and you know the first thing is is weight loss is freakishly difficult mm -hmm. if I could use that word. It's um, easier to put it on than take it If it, it was off. really easy 60 percent of Canadians would not be overweight and so it is very difficult to lose weight. And you have some tips and the first one I love it's you're not a robot. You need the to body understand. is not a robot absolutely so often I use people's shoe size as an, as an example so just like if you currently wear a size 9, we wouldn't say, you know, you could just work harder and somehow wear a size 5. Like that would be ridiculous. And so when we look at our body size and our body shape, we know um, everyone is a little bit different in what they've sort of been gifted genetically. Mm -hmm. um, and our lifestyle patterns, there's so many things that shape our ability to lose weight. And you have come up with a list. You say that food and exercise is only part of how to lose weight and part of how to talk about the discussion. Um, you came up with factors, the other ones that influence your weight, personal genetics, family history, age and gender, medical concerns. Even medications uh, can also impact sort of our ability to lose weight with some medications actually causing a little bit more weight gain. And you have uh, fluids, exercise, body composition, and stress and eating disorder behavior. So mm -hmm. stress seems like some people say, well, you can just say, oh, I'm fat because I'm stressed, but it's a real factor. You bet. So what we know if we look at stress, for example, is that as stress hormone response goes up in the body, so things like cortisol, um, our body hangs on to more weight because it's not sure, right? you know, is there going to be a famine? You know, our body's built back in the caveman days, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, high levels of stress coming from under eating or restricting your calories too much, um, experiencing a lot of stress or not sleeping is also another form of stress whether that's just not getting good quality sleep um, since you have sleep apnea for example or just not sleeping enough those are reasons that your body also will hang on to extra weight and fluids as well how important is it to get enough and getting fluids is key and what people need to know too if you've been on some sort of a low carbohydrate diet or something and experience rapid weight loss is there's a lot of fluid shift off the body so one gram of carbohydrate stores three grams of water on the body and so your weight will drastically manipulate or shift based on how many water hydrating types of foods that you're eating, such as your fruits and your veggies, and definitely carbohydrate. And when we were talking earlier during the break, you said something really poignant in that it was at some point you can't exercise more and you can't eat less. You bet. So, you know, the, the biggest myth on the planet is that you could just keep eating less exercise more and you could weigh whatever you want which is ridiculous because at some point you can't actually decrease your intake you can't actually physically exercise more so um, we what do have some do tough then? conversations yes. in our office about what we can realistically change and then some of those other factors where we've just got to sort of embrace our body the way that it wants to be okay so. <laughs> and uh, and quickly you may be overeating or you may be under eating as well under eating not healthy you bet so weight loss specifically um, often we like to say weight loss is often lost in the kitchen more so than in the gym so nutrition has a much stronger impact on your ability to lose weight than exercise yet often people will say I'm just working so hard in the gym they burned off 300 calories let's say and then that constituted increasing um, I don't know an extra <laughs> large supper and two extra helpings of dessert so what I often find is people underestimate how many calories consuming and they often overestimate how many calories they're burning from an exercise standpoint. Hmm, some mm -hmm. food for thought this morning. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Uh, if you want more information, you can check out healthstandnutrition.com. It is 719 now still ahead on the morning news. Something to be aware of when you cast your ballot today. What you need to know after one woman's vote was rejected.